Hello guys, today we are going to create a multi-page website using React. I know this topic will confuse if you are familiar with React because React is made for creating single page apps. So here actually we are making multiple routes instead of multiple pages. But in practical, the user feels it as multiple pages. This video is strictly based on the article in Takamura and you have to refer it for further explanations. So let's start. First create a new React app project using npx tool. Here React multi-page website is the project name. This will take some time and after completing enter the project directory and open the project using VS Code. Now start the app using npm start command and this will open up our app in a browser tab. Now install react root to dom package to enable roots feature in our app. At the same time we can add the bootstrap cdn in our index.html file to make our app a little bit shinier. The best method for adding bootstrap in our react app is uh, using uh, packages like react bootstrap but here I am using the cdn because the process gets more easier. Now let's talk about the app we are going to build. The top navigation bar contains three links home, above and contact. Clicking these links will render components associated with it. The router DOM package will help us to direct our app to a route. We will define all the routes and associated components in app.js later. So I'm creating a directory called components inside SRC to store all the components required for our app. Now let's start by coding the navigation.jsx. It contains a title section and three links home, about and contact. I also added a simple logic with each link to identify the uh, active tab. So let's add some components required for our app. Let's start from the footer component. Just copy the code from Takamoro and we are just creating a footer.jsx. In the same manner, we will create a home.jsx, a about.jsx, and a contact.jsx component. So when the path changes to localhost 3000 slash home, it will render the home component. And if it's slash about, it will render the about component. And if it's slash contact, it will render the contact component. So in case of user, user will see a switching of pages but actually the switching of components are happening. We are also adding an index.js file in the components directory where all the export of these components occur. Now let's talk where the real logic of this app lies. It is in app.js. Here the entire app is wrapped inside a router which is provided by the React Router DOM. Also, all the routes in our app must be wrapped inside a switch component, which is also provided by React Router DOM. So, if a link is clicked, it first check the app.js and find the route and render the associated component. 